Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me. You know who that is? That's 2023 Fanatics Underwrap Series 1 Autograph Baseball Jerseys. Three box random team break number four. I think I marked these four in the previous break. So you know they're from the same case. We got another half case break loaded up from a fresh case, by the way. Okay, so one spot also gets you two teams. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Like Sir Mix a lot. Uh, thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, and congrats to the people who won their spots in the filler in that Topps Chrome Blaster Box number two, TC Blast two. All 30 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams three and a four, seven times each. One, two, three. They're doing something. They're doing some construction outside. I don't know what they're doing. Five, six and seven. Three and a four, seven times. Eugene down to Eugene. Three and a four, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Twin Cities down to the Bow Sox. All right, here's how it shakes out for everybody. Eugene with the Twins, Steve H with the Cardinals, Brian K with the Giants, Las Ball Mojo. Eugene with the Mets, Steve with my Dodgers, Brian with the Pirates, Eugene with the Marlins, Jay with the Brewers, Brian K with the Yankees, Eugene with the Mariners and Reds, Brian K, Angels, Guardians, Rex with the Rocks, Brian with the Royals, Brian also with the Nationals, Brian also with the Tigers, Jay with the Diamondbacks, Rex with the O's, Eugene with the Jays, Brian with the Rays, Steve with the White Sox. Excuse me, I had to sneeze there. Um, Michael with the Astros, Brian with the A's, Jay with the Phillies, Michael with the Cubs, Eugene with the Padres, Jay with the Rangers, Steve with the Braves, and Eugene with the Boston Red Sox. All right, so let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back. Got the list printed out. Trade window is closed. Let's put your thinking caps on. Let's put your thinking caps on. Yeah. Let's put your thinking caps on. We want to put the thinking caps on. Yeah. <laughs> gonna give you some clues You gonna guess who's inside But put your thinking caps on Yeah, put your thinking caps on mm, Put your thinking caps Put your thinking caps on Gonna put them thinking caps on Yeah Try to be small. Gonna give you some clues. <laughs> I don't want to, losing my mind, folks. I'm gonna turn off that top camera though, so I don't want to reveal the uh, jersey. Too. Yeah, let's put your thinking caps on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about, put your thinking caps on, put them on, it's time to think. All right, who am I? I'm an active Major League Baseball player. This is a lot of accolades here. I've got a lifetime 307 batting average, over 1,800 RBIs, a lifetime 904 OPS, 508 home runs, 3,121 hits, two-time MVP, 12-time All-Star, seven-time Silver Slugger, two-time Major League Player of the Year, a four-time batting title champion, a World Series champion in 2003, and a triple crowner. You know who I am. Who the heck am I? Put those thinking caps on.
No? No one's got any guesses? It's pretty obvious. Who's an active baseball player that has 3,000 hits and 500 home runs? This has got to be easy. Yeah, Jan. Miguel Cabrera. And a triple crown? An active player with a triple crown? Come on. Come on. There it is, Miguel Cabrera. Nice, Miggy. So there's the Fanatic sticker, the MLB hologram sticker. There's, this is worth popping open. So that's Brian Clinch, I think, right? Brian K with the Tigers. There you go, congrats, Brian. These are all officially licensed jerseys. So we, you've probably seen us do jersey breaks before. And a lot of times they're like, they're custom jerseys, but these are officially licensed jerseys. Nike, that's why it's a little more expensive on the price point. There's the cool uh, old English D. You've got the laundry tags there, the, the original retail tags as well. All right, so Brian, I'm gonna fold this up nicely after the break, but congrats, man, it's a nice one. All right, next. Oh, Mickey doesn't get enough love? Big, big, big chunks saying, yeah. I think he's had some lean years recently, but I think after he calls it, calls it a career, as soon as he's available, I mean, that's got to be first ballot Hall of Famer, so. So I think he'll be, uh, I think he'll be recognized pretty much then. Detroit only team to not change their capture. That's kind of true. Jan, you're almost there. They have the, the letter, the, they've slightly changed the font in the hat and the jersey different years. There's been some slight typography changes over the century long history or something like that. Not too many though. There's been times where even the, the logo on the hat had been different from the logo on the jersey. There's been times like that too. But for the most part, yeah, I don't think, I don't think they've made too many drastic changes in their in their logo. All right. Put your thinking caps on. All right, who am I? An active baseball, they're all baseball, A an active pitcher in Major League Baseball. This season, I've got a 3-2 win-loss record, a 2-6 ERA, only made six starts in 34 innings, 18 strikeouts. I must be on the IL then or something like that. Anyway, I've got a lifetime 3-4-3 ERA, 90 wins, 63 losses, over 1,000 strikeouts. I've won a World Series and an ERA title. When did I win that ERA title? Back in ba back in the year, I won World Series. Top ten in Rookie of the Year voting, my rookie year. Top three in Cy Young voting, in the year I won the ERA title. Also got some MVP votes. Top ten in Cy Young voting in 2020. Played for one team my entire career, and I won a World Series. In the World Series, and did, did I do well in the World Series? I think so. It's just a one ERA and two starts. That's pretty good. I think there may have been like secondary jerseys, Eric, that might have had an actual tiger on their on their logo. But I think their main jersey has always, has always been that old English D. 
No guesses here. I won the World Series in 2016. That's got to give it away. My nicknames, The Professor, went to high school in Mission Viejo, California, a Southern California guy, went to Dartmouth College, Six three one ninety, a righty, born in Newport Beach, California, I wonder if he knows Freddie Freeman. They're about the same age, right, these two? Yeah, they were both born. They must know each other. They must know each other. The connections we your connections being wigging out. Won, won the World Series in 2016. What an ERA title. Career, 1,097 strikeouts, 90 wins to 63 losses, 3-4-3 ERA. 1.146 whip. Nicknamed the Professor. Won an ERA title in 2016, the same year I won the World Series. And top three Cy Young voting. Sorry. I wonder if your YouTube was acting goofy or something like that. Are we good too? Don't look, Rex. Yeah, he's got, Rex has got, it's Kyle Hendricks. And that's going to go to Michael, Michael D and the Cubbies. That's awesome. Got the big classic Cubs logo. Got the National League patch on the right side. All the here are the the retail tags on here, which are pretty awesome. Pretty cool stuff. And I'll and I'll fold this up nicely. Later on, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, Kyle Hendricks, real solid pitcher. Great, uh, great control. I think he was. He'd be able to be able to place a pitch anywhere he wants to. Is he injured this year, Rex? He's only made six starts. He must be, right? All right, third and final jersey. Ooh. All right, this is a retired player. Retired player, a Hall of Famer, a one-time MVP, a 14-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, a five-time World Series winner, and a two-time World Series MVP. Lifetime 262 batting average, 563 home runs, 2,584 hits, 1,700 RBIs, 228 stolen bases, lifetime 846 OPS. 
And this, the jersey here, is the team he played for the longest. That's right, Reggie Jackson. And who did he play for the longest, John? Do you remember? Hit 262 with this team, hit 269 home runs with this team, 776 RBIs with this team, 145 stolen bases with this team, over 1,200 hits with this team. Must kill the queen. Yep, Rex and John's got it. Played for the A's for 10 seasons. He even played his first season was with Kansas City. Obviously, that card gets mailed too. And that is, who's got the A's on my list here? That is for Brian S. with the A's. Brian with a Y. Got the old classic Oakland colors. Kind of a bummer that they're, they're leaving Oakland, especially when you think about history like this. This is a, one of those cool Mitchell and Ness jerseys. Right, the jersey itself is a hundred bucks. There's the Cooperstown collection tag right there as well. And I'll get that folded up nicely for you, Brian. Thanks everyone for watching. The next three box break is from a fresh case, if that makes a difference to you. So there could be some cool stuff there. So get in on it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.